Yo, what's going on everybody, it's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, and I would like to welcome you guys to another Broke Nigga Pack opening. Today we're going to be messing with around 30k VC. I actually want to save the other 3k so I can actually play some games in this road to the playoffs. Um, I know that it's a lot of space between my pack openings. A lot of people have been asking me why, it's because um, I'm, I don't glitch, so... I'm actually trying to earn it. Plus, you know, actually play the game because if it's like this, if I VC glitch, you guys wouldn't expect um, my career videos. You wouldn't expect association videos. You even probably wouldn't even expect road to the playoffs, blacktop, team up, all of that. You feel me? If if it really came down to it, it would just be pack openings and glitching. That would be it. So um, I want to hop into this pack opening. But before I do, definitely click the first link in the description. It's going to send you over to Game Face Studios. Whenever I do a pack opening on my channel, you can expect to see a Road to the Playoffs game from whatever seed I'm in on Game Face Studios. So click the first link in the description to actually see gameplay from this My Team mode. And uh, let's hop into this pack opening. So, uh... Um, of course, I'm going to do all gold everything. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do other, you know, joints like silver, signatures, season kickoffs. and nah, I don't want to do none of that. You know what I'm I think it's a waste of VC, to tell you the truth. But uh, let's see what we got. Um, okay, first one was an arena, so I know I'm not going to get a player um, in, this, in this opening. Uh, got the Rockets jersey. Mm-hmm. Might put Dwight in it. You never know. <laughs> All right. So I got to sell the Energy Solutions Arena. I already got one of those. All right. Let's open up a gold booster. Okay. Got another jersey. The classic Indiana Pacers uh, home jersey. So I'll probably use that. Avery Johnson will probably not get used. Seeing as though Brooklyn booted him. <laughs> Come on, come on. Give daddy something good. All right. I got more and more arenas and a bunch of playbooks. Things aren't looking good so far, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Sell all contents. Come on. Come on. All right, I remember a lot of people put, you know, that voodoo nonsense. Um, so what I'm going to do is remove D-Rose, remove Iguodala. Yeah, by the way, um, I did get Iggy. Uh, remove Gerald Green. Uh, I also did get Josh Smith. Um, if you guys didn't see my live stream on Twitch TV, um, the video is still up there. It's inside, I believe, like the, the highlights page or something like that. You'll be able to see that video where I um, got Josh Smith and uh, I was talking about who I should get as in, you know, Iguodala and stuff like that as a two guard. Because I didn't want to have Rose at the two guard simply because he is a point. You feel me? It's, it's no reason for me to, you know, mess with the rosters the way they are. I should have a shooting guard at the shooting guard position. Just because Derrick Rose is a scorer and he can play the two doesn't mean that he was built for the two. So uh, let me go back out. Boosters. All right, let me get my gold booster popping. Um, I can see now that my total value of my uh, my team is now ninety one thousand VC, which is pretty cool. You know, um, it, I've came a long way um, since I started my team. I think I started. I forgot when I started my team, but I know that I haven't been playing it no more than probably a month, month and a half, maybe. You know, when people was doing my team since two K came out, so. I can understand if they got like bomb squads and stuff like that, but uh, it's look like it's looking like I'm not pulling anything. But um, you know, you can only a guy can dream, right? So, let's see, Toyota Center, I could sell that back. All right, what else we got here? Come on, give Daddy a something, man. <laughs> ah, another U.S. Airways Center. United Center. Oh, Stable Center. Hmm. 
Dwayne Casey. I think I already got the Clippers uh, home court. Yeah. All right. No. Yeah, I already got it. See? It's a waste of time. Just spent 1500 Just got 350 back from it. Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> mm, I'm not getting anything. This might this pack opening right here might not be worth any anything. Like sometimes this this how it goes. Right, let me do this. How about how about I do a season kickoff real quick? Just one, just one season kickoff, and then I'll go back to the gold. All right, I got Jermaine Jones though. Really, out of all of you, you give me Jermaine Jones. Yo, I might put him on the squad though. I ain't seen Jermaine Jones in I don't know how long. Damn, that's crazy. All right, back to the gold booster. Ah, got the AT&T Center again. It's all good, y'all. Don't worry about it, man. Sometimes this is how these pack openings go. You know, sometimes it, it doesn't it doesn't rule in your favor. You know, you can't you can't be mad. You know, sometimes this is just how it is. Uh oh, I think my baby girl about to wake up. Yeah, this is this is what you do. Um, <laughs> when you got children, you got to do commentaries on the fly. Hopefully, she doesn't wake up in this next uh, fifteen thousand VC or what is it, fourteen thousand? Let me saw that back. All right, let me get another gold booster. Come on, give me something pretty. Ugh. Oh, I got the 2012 All-Star jerseys. Yes, I could use those. I could definitely use those. You know what? All right, let me sell that back. Hold up, though. Hold up, though. I'm saying, though. Let me replace this from the collection, though. Where that drawing at? Where that drawing at? Uh-oh. She might be waking up. All right, boosters. All right. All right, I'm going to try to hurry this up, guys, because uh, it looks like my baby girl is about to wake up. Okay, Harvey Ketchings. Okay, Rockets jersey. All right, Quick Loans already got that. Okay, not bad. All right, let's sell that for 140. All right, now this pack opening is starting to look up. Let me, let me add D Rose to my team. Let me add. Sometimes you know I I just be pulling some trickery, you know, just to see if if this stuff actually works. Oh yeah, I know y'all see that brick wall on uh on Dwight. I'm actually gonna give you guys uh some some tips on what signature skills to put on y'all players when y'all get to these lower seeds. But that's after this. Let's 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 pray to God that I get something good out of this. Come on, give me something good. Ugh, floor general. I could actually use floor general. I think. No, actually, no. I don't need floor general anymore. I think I think D Rose and Terry Porter has it. So I can actually sell that back. My bad. <clears throat> I had to turn the central air off because it was going to get real loud. All right. Yeah, my baby girl is definitely about to wake up. Did I miss anything? I wasn't looking at the screen. I think all I got was the Celtics um, home court. Hmm. Yeah. Don't need that. Okay. Come on. Give daddy something good. Baby need new shoes. Oh, man. It's like a, it's like a facepalm sometimes. <laughs> it really is. It's like you pray. You pray for the best in my team pack openings. But, you know, luck doesn't come with every pack opening. I will tell you that. I think that pack opening when I got World Be Free, Dwight Howard, and Derrick Rose, 
That's probably the most luck I will ever have. And they gave me Jermaine Jones again. This this right here, 2K Logic, you guys. 2K Logic. It like without a doubt, 2K Logic. You just give me Jermaine Jones and a purple booster. But when I pick the gold booster, you give me the same player. The heck? And then you give me Greg Popovich again. Ugh. Oh, this sucks. This this really sucks. Now I understand that you know sometimes you'll get doubles and stuff like that, but it just it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Ah oh, man, come on, Daddy need new shoes. Posterizer. I may be able to use that. Yeah, I may I may be able to use that right there. I might be able to put posterizer on a few guys. All right, let's see. Come on, goal booster. All right, I just pray for a bunch of lockdown defenders. That's what I really want. I really want some lockdown defender uh, signature skills. If I can get a bunch of those, I'll be good. Like that's that's what I've been looking for lately in pack openings is uh, signature skills. Um, and actually, you know what? Let me let me talk about that now since we're already here. Um, for your point guard. I believe if you have a athletic point guard such as someone like Derrick Rose, um, that's a gold player, you definitely want to put floor general on him. You want to put posterizer on him, and you want to put lockdown defender on him. Now, this is why floor general will make everybody else so much better. Posterizer, when he goes in for a dunk, he's gonna shit on everybody. And lockdown defender is to stop the signature skills of the player that he's going up against. And they gave me Harvey Kenchings and Kent. That's just oh, I got the Wells Fargo Center. Yes, that's what I've been waiting for for like ever. I've been waiting on that. I, you know what? I can rock with that. I can rock with that. I got a. Hey, I got the Sixers Arena, baby. That's all that matter. But uh, moving on to the shooting guard. Dang, I'm all, I'm already down to three thousand. <sighs> Man, all right, let me sell some stuff. All right, so um, where was I? Items. Coaches, okay. All right, so now back to where I was talking about. Shooting guard uh, It's basically going to be the same thing except for you won't have floor general. You'll have posterizer. You'll have lockdown defender and... If they're a good shooter, you definitely want to put dead eye on them. And if you don't have dead eye, I would go with hmm. I would go with either finisher or what is that? Uh, what is that other signature skill? Shot creator. That's what I would go with because even if they're not a great shooter from like three, if you're able to get like some mid range jump shots off. Shot creator will help you a lot with creating that space. So shooting guard will definitely be lockdown defender, uh, posterizer, and dead eye. Um, small forward, going to be the same. You're going to have lockdown defender. Oh, did I sell? Did I sell one of those uh, gold coaches? Please don't tell me I did that. I can't remember. Um, but like I was saying. Uh, small forward is basically going to be the same. You're going to have lockdown defender. You're going to have posterizer. And you're going to have dead eye because, you know, they can shoot. Now, moving on to the power forward um, position. What you really want to have on a power forward is lockdown defender. You want to have scrapper and posterizer. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Uh-oh. Um, posterizer is very good, of course, for dunking on people. Scrapper will help with the power forwards grabbing rebounds. And Lockdown Defender will lock down any of the signature skills that anyone else may have. Now, the next thing up, the center. Now, this is very tricky. Um, with me, the way I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Brick Wall, Lockdown Defender, and Posterizer. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, why would you go with Posterizer 
and brick wall and lockdown defender is because of the simple fact that I already have scrapper on my power forward. So what's the next big best thing? It's either eraser or brick wall. Now brick wall helps so much with you having to go, you know, with your point guard around screens and stuff like that. And you can even alternate if you want to have brick wall on your power forward or even brick wall on both your power forward and center, you can do so. Or you can have a racer on both. It's, it's totally up to you. But me personally, the way I'm going to go with it, I'm, I'm going to definitely use alternates. Whereas though I can use my center for screening and be able to, if I miss the shot, make sure that the power forward is there after the center pops out off the screen. Like if he fades for the rebound, you know, that scrapper is going to help a lot. Um, I gave up enough items. All right, hopefully this right here. Uh, let's see if this will do anything. Go booster. You know, I'm about to just spend all this VC and pray to goodness that I get something. All right, I got the stable center. Oh, I got the Western All-Star jerseys. Yes. And I got Vinny Del Negro. Or Negro, I'm sorry. Uh, Let's see. All right. Uh, should I do another one? Should I do another one, y'all? Oh, F it. I don't care. I I'll get the VC back somehow. All right, US Airways Center, King's Playbook, uh, The Palace. All right. Okay. Let me sell all this back real quick. All right, open up the boosters again. All right, this is the right here is the last pack on the opening, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Robert Pack, it's over, baby. It, you know what? I had to slam. <laughs> it's over. I'm dunking on everybody and their mom, yo. It's over, baby. This is this this is why pack openings are so crazy because you think. Out of everything, you're not getting nothing from none of these pack openings. And then you get somebody like Robert Pack. Come on, baby. Hold up. Hold up. Let me let me let me let me let me let me show y'all a little rating real quick. Look at that dunk rating, yo. Like let's keep it all the way real. Look at that dunk rating, yo. What y'all think I'm about to start doing to all these people, yo? Like <laughs> it's about to be crazy. Alright. Look at the speed though. Look at the speed. 95 speed. Let's go. Hold up. I ain't done yet. Look at that vert. 99 vert. So you already know the stand-up dunks is on the beam. All right. 94 quickness, y'all. It's about to be over. Now, check this out. Derek Rose, right? Let's look at D Rose. All right. Check this out. Out C, N C, I Q C plus, right? All right. B, B plus, and A. So I will still keep D Rose, right? You know what I'm saying? But you can also bring, you know, pack off the bench. But look at this, man. 84... What's the speed on 97 and what we got a 99. So D Rose is the faster player, but pack is the better dunker. Um, but just to show you guys, let me see. Oh, darn. Why'd I back out? Just to show you guys what I was talking about. Do you see how I had floor general and posterizer on uh, D Rose? Now the only signature skill I need to finish off is lockdown defender. Um, now Terry Porter is, you know, different because he's a three point shooter and I love him. Um, he got floor general dead eye and close it. And I cannot sell him back because he's a legend. So if I sell him back, mm, I ain't going to be a bomb. Uh, world be free has none. Nate McMillan has none. So, uh, yeah, shooting guards. All right. Now this is what I was talking about. See how Iguodala, like he has a B plus out, but I really don't use Iguodala for, you know, shooting. I use him for dunking purposes. So currently he has finisher. Now the other signature skills that I'm going to put on him is lockdown defender and posterizer. Uh, Daryl Curry, <laughs> spot up shooter and dead eye. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, why do I keep doing that? All right. Small forward. Uh, Gerald Green, posterizer and finisher. Now he has a great three point shot, but sometimes I, I tend not to use it because it's so overpowered, but I can't add any more signature skills to him. So I know a lot of people are saying, oh, why don't you get somebody like LeBron or KD or something like that? At the moment, I'm good with Gerald Green. I call him the light skinned LeBron. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, power forward. All right, now check this out. 
Um, I have defensive anchor on Josh Smith. Now, I remember I was telling y'all you could have scrapper, lockdown defender, and posterizer. Now, with Josh Smith, I'm not going to be able to go that route because I chose to have him as the defensive anchor of our team. So his signature skills would probably end up being defensive anchor, posterizer, and lockdown defender. Um, or it could be defensive anchor, lockdown defender, and scrapper, depending on how I feel about it. Um, see, check this out. Finisher and scrapper is on Rodney Rogers. Uh, I used that scrapper early in the game, so that's why I wasn't able to put it on Josh Smith. All right, I got Phil Jackson. <laughs> Thomas Robinson has none. All right, now centers. Um, Dwight Howard, brick wall. Uh, his other signature skills will definitely be lockdown defender and posterizer because he just be able to dunk over everybody. Um, JaVel McGee, he currently doesn't have any signature skills because I don't need him to have any anymore because I have Dwight Howard. He's just going to come in and serve as a rebounder. And I really don't want my player salary through the roof anymore. So I had to end up selling him back. Uh, I have Walt Bellamy and I have Harvey Catchings. So uh, let me see where Catchings is at in his, in his lifestyle. <laughs> Ass. Um... I think that is it. You know, I, I went over just about everything. Um, Actually, I do want to show you guys one thing before I get up out of here. I want to show you all my jersey collection. So far, um, the collecting of the jerseys have been tremendous. I'm loving all the jerseys that I've been getting lately. And this was one of the big reasons why I started my team, because I wanted to see how many jerseys I could collect. And now that I have the World's Fargo Center... I'm definitely, definitely going to be in six or down. Like, it's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. For now and on, you going to see me playing <laughs> at home at Wells Fargo all the time. I'm probably never going to use any of the arenas, so I probably can, you know, actually sell all the other arenas back because now it's, I, that's all I've been waiting on was, you know, getting the sixes uh, joint. Now, uh, the All-Star jerseys. They, they, I might end up using them a couple times. You never know. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen, you know. Well, actually, I think I did play one person with the All-Star jerseys. But, you know, his arena was trash truck juice. Now, if he had the Houston drink, I could have believed it. <laughs> but uh, this right here is an, a nice jersey collection. I'm loving it so far. You know, it's not bad. But, uh, just let me know what you guys think of this jersey uh, collection. And um, actually, I want to get started on building up my team. I don't know how much time we have left, but, you know, don't worry about it. Six man, Terry Porter. Bench two. I'm going to have to go with shooting guards. I'm going to have to go with Dale Curry. Bench three, small forwards. I'm going to have to go with Kersey. Bench four, I'm going to have to go with power forwards. And instead of Thomas Robinson, I like Rodney Rogers better. All right. Now, bench five is definitely going to be the center. Um, it's going to be JaVale McGee. And let's see, point guards. I'm going to have to put Robert Pack in. And at seven, let's see who we got. I like Chuck Person game. But... He's not as good as World Be Free. Let me let me just cause we're up, oh damn. Now I went through teams and shit. Uh where yet? Alright, Chuck Person. Yeah, he's he's not as athletic as uh World Be Free. So World Be Free will be the last player on my team. Now home jersey, let's replace that with something nice. All right, should I go with the classic home? I'm gonna go with this classic home and then away. All right, let's see, replace with that. Greg Popovich, let's see. As it goes for offensive and defensive awareness, I really need a high awareness for defense because offense well it's not really you know I, I've run the offense so you know we can play to my strengths so uh replace that with the world's Fargo Center 
And when it comes to a playbook, I think the Lakers playbook should should do it. Well, let me go with the Celtics playbook since I got Doc Rivers. All right, so this right here is going to be my setup for a while. Um, unless I get some some more people. I got D-Rose starting at the point. Andre Iguodala, Gerald Green, Lyskin LeBron, hashtag that. Josh Smith, Dwight Howard. I got Terry Porter, Daryl Curry, Jerome Kersey, Rodney Rogers, De JaVel McGee, Robert Pack, and World Be Free. Now, the thing about uh, Robert Pack and World Be Free, they are point guards, but I can use them at the one and the two. You know, so don't worry about that. And uh got the Sixers home and away jersey with the uh, Wells Fargo Center and Doc Rivers and the Celtics playbook. So uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Um, and one little bit of order of business before I get up out of here. I'm going to remind you guys to click the first link in the description. It's going to send you over to an actual road to the playoffs game inside of the fourth seed. Uh, it was a great game. Trust me. It was a great game. Uh, also, um, make sure you follow me on Twitter um, at iPod King Carter. If you want to get updates on my scheduling when I'm going to be dropping videos, you definitely want to like the Facebook fan page and follow me on Instagram. You know, I'll be posting some crazy pictures, but uh, I'm not going to remind you about nothing else. Just go in the description, click a couple links, have fun. And this is IKC signing out. Thank you all. Peace. Yeah. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.